Hi, with this recording, I'm going to show you how to download your pictures using the Photos app, which is actually at the very bottom of your screen, unfortunately. I'm... So I'm going to show you how to use the Photos app, which is this app at the very bottom of the screen. It says Photos. And I'm going to insert my, my camera memory card um, using the cord. I'm going to turn on the computer. And I'm going to see right away that I have some pictures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select some pictures and turn them black and white. So real quick, I'm just going to import some photographs. Let me just import these ones. And what I'm doing is you can either go command click to get them individually or you can do um, or you can kind of click and highlight. So what I did with my mouse was I highlighted it. And then I go import those selected ones. Again, you can always import more than that, but I'm selecting those importing them. So I'm importing those. And I'm waiting for them to import. And from there, I'm just going to quickly delete whatever one is a little funky. So I'm just pressing delete on that one. Delete one photo. Yes, I'm sure. I'm going to then take the picture and I'm going to edit it into black and white. To edit it, I go to the little levers that says edit photo. And I go to adjust. And then I make it black and white. And so I'm going to do that for each picture. I go back and I make each picture black and white. I might crop it a little bit because right here I'm seeing there's a lot of stuff going on and I want to make sure it's nice and tight. So I'm going to crop in I go done. And then I go back to edit and adjust it. Make it black and white. Maybe a little bit lighter and then done. And then again, I go and I do that for all of them. Go back to this, go to crop, crop out random people in there. Make sure that she is the one and only most important thing. Crop down, say done. And then I go edit, adjustments, black and white. And then done. And I keep on going there and so forth and so forth. So what I'm going to do, I would take the time to make it black and white, but I just quickly want to show you what I did to make a PDF of a contact sheet. What I did was I highlighted in the photographs that I want as a contact sheet. You should have 16 total of your partner, not of you, but of your partner, because those are the ones that you took the picture of. So I highlighted them and then I go to file print. From there, I actually select the contact sheet. And the contact sheet, I'm going to make it so there's four columns. And then I can also futz around with the margins if I want to to make them closer. But right now, I'll just leave them the way it is. So again, four columns. And then I go print. It actually will then bring you to another drop down menu. You're going to go to the PDF itself, save as PDF. And then another menu will come up. So you're going to save it as last name, dash first name, dash mood. And you're going to save it in your documents. And then you're going to press save. From there, you're going to upload it into Google Classroom. And that'll be good. Okay. So again, just to go back, I edited each picture by going to the edit button. I adjusted it into black and white. I cropped it if I needed to crop it so that you don't get like a ton of background. I just want to make it look as good as possible. I go back to all the pictures that I want to have on the on the contact sheet by highlighting them. Then I go file prints. I use the contact sheet at the bottom. I use four columns. And then I say print, then I say go to PDF, save as PDF, then last name dash first name dash moods. Okay, thanks.